Okay, this is gonna be a video uh, aimed at people who are having trouble with uh, accessing their ROMs on the FBA Next MAME emulator for PS3. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to set up an FTP server. Um, you can be able to get the black box server download on NeoGAF or one of the sites that I put in the description. So just check that out. Once you have the, the server up and running, give me one second. You're gonna pay attention to this IP address there. You have to connect online for it to show that PS IP address. Then you're gonna download FileZilla. FileZilla, and that's a uh, FTP server client. And what you're gonna do is, in this, all you have to do is just type in that IP address that you see right there. You have to type in right there and all you're gonna do is hit connect around there there's, there's a little connect switch you you'll find it you'll find it once you did that it's gonna connect it's gonna be it's gonna say connect successful give me one second all right so i just connected my ps3 right now my ps3 is cooked up to my computer this is a mac no worries it's the same exact thing for pc so the problem is uh, the reason why the fba next is not reading your roms is because the default directory that the ROMs are set to look for, you can't manually edit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to edit that file and put the, the path that you want your ROMs to show up in. So first things first, you're gonna be in the dev HDDD0. Open that up. We're gonna go to game. And we're gonna go to FBA N000. In there, you're gonna see USR directory scroll all the way down and you're gonna see this file right there fba next dash ps3.xml you have to take this file and edit it so what you have to do is you have to bring it to your desktop so on this side you should be that should be highlighted and on this side just go to whatever desktop click on desktop once you have that click on there oops right click download when you right click and download this file is going to automatically download into your pc and you should see it right there. When you get that file on your PC, you're gonna, whatever, you'll find it on your desktop. You're going to, if you're on a PC, you're gonna open it up with WordPad. If, it's your, if you're on a Mac, you're gonna open it up with text edit. So I'm gonna launch text edit real quick because I'm using a Mac. And we're gonna go to open and we're gonna open up that file. In this file, you're gonna scroll all the way down, all the way down. Right here, where you see paths, ROM, path, dev, you know, underscore HDD zero, slash game. Yours is not gonna look like this. I edited this so you can have it the way it's supposed to be. So this is what it should say. Give me one second so I can zoom in here. Uh, fuck, okay, there we go. So. This is what it should say, dev underscore HDD zero, forward slash game, forward slash ROMs, forward slash FBA, and then another forward slash. That's what it should look like. When it looks like that, you're gonna save this file. Once you save that file, you're gonna jump back into FileZilla. And in FileZilla, what you're gonna do is take that same file on your desktop and transfer it right back into here. So what I would suggest to do is just delete this one and just transfer this one into there uh you know always play it safe you don't want to go screwing around so make sure you're putting it in the same spot once that's done all that that's going to change is the directory the directory where fba next is going to search for its rom so this is where i have it which is i honestly think the neatest way of having it having it is going to be hdz0 game and then roms and in this ROMs folder, I have it set up so that all my ROMs are there. So FBA, Game Boy, Genesis, NES, SNES. And then this is the folder where you're directing uh, the FBA next to actually read those ROMs in. Um, these files are all BIOS files. You're definitely gonna need them in order to run MAME. I, in order for you to find them, I would suggest just checking on a torrent site, you'll be able to find them. I'm not gonna give you a direct link because I can't. And then you're gonna have your ROMs in here as well. So your BIOS and your ROMs go in here and they all must stay zipped. So there you go, that's it. That should, that should um, 
lead to this pretty much so what I'm gonna do let me just exit FBA next whoops I mean let's exit this give it one second so here what we're gonna do just throw on FBA next and FBA next what it's gonna do is this is what yours should look like it shouldn't say a problem with the if, if you're not seeing your ROMs in there already assuming you did put your ROMs in there it's gonna say no ROMs found that means you wrote that XML file you wrote it incorrect and you have to go back and edit that so I have some ROMs in here for example, let me just load up King of Fighters 2003. It should be doing that. Assuming if it's not doing that, that means you don't have your BIOS in there and you have to go download your BIOS. So give it a second and and there it goes. And honestly, this is the first time that I'm ever getting MAME to work because I've always had problems in the past. Um, but it's working pretty beast. And you know, oh, this asshole just hit me without me hitting him. You know what, screw that. Since I did this whole video, I'm gonna fucking beat his ass right now. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, what did we do? Oh, there we go. Screw that. There you go. Oh my god, it's so weird not playing in an arcade. There we go. There we go. Oh. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. There you go. Until Drill Force. Uh, hopefully that helps some guys out. Um, Alright. Peace.